is up, guys? I'm Joshua Weissman, and boy, do I have something to tell you. Brownies, cookies, brownie cookies. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. name describes it is exactly what it sounds like it's a, literally a cookie but it's also a brownie and the beautiful thing about that is each individual cookie is literally all edges everybody's favorite part of the brownie this actually comes from a recipe that I did a while back on my friend's blog fulfilled her name is Bella she's great she's wonderful and so you can actually see the full written recipe and some extra photos there I'll put a link below but anyway we're just gonna get started we're gonna get this rolling and uh I need some fing brownie cookies, dude. So, you're gonna start with dark chocolate, 60% cacao or higher. Just please make sure it's actual dark chocolate because the cookie base is quite sweet as it is. And you're just gonna rough chop that into nice big chunks. You, you, not too big, but not too small. You know what I mean? I feel like chunk is that one word that's kind of like moist. Not everybody is about it, but you know. It's very descriptive. Now, since this is gonna be a shorter video, I might as well show you two different ways that you can separate the egg yolk from an egg white, because you're gonna be using two whole egg whites in this recipe. So, now the first way is a very traditional method where you literally just use the eggshell to sort of like rock it in between, back and forth, in between each eggshell, and that eventually the egg white sort of falls beneath it, and then you're left with just the egg yolk in the shell. Now, the next method requires a little less finesse, but a little more care. So you'll go ahead and crack the egg directly into a bowl, egg yolk and egg white and all in the bowl, and then you'll just carefully fish it out with your bare hands and let the egg white fall naturally through your fingers. Hold the egg yolk gently because it is easy to break it. Give it a good toss or two if it needs it. And there you go, we have our two egg whites, really easy. Now you can do this for the rest of your life. Teach a man to fish, you know what I'm saying? To a medium or large bowl, you're gonna add 390 grams of powdered sugar, which is about two and three quarters of a cup. 70 grams, which is about three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. One tablespoon of cornstarch and a half teaspoon of salt. Whisk that up to thoroughly combine everything. Then we're gonna add two egg whites to our dry ingredients, followed by one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then followed by another whole egg. And then just whisk that together until everything is completely incorporated and combined. Now, at this point, I thoroughly regretted not using a larger bowl, so maybe not a me medium bowl, maybe a, maybe a large bowl would be better, just, just so you know. Now once everything is mixed together and thoroughly incorporated and you have a batter that looks something like this, then you're gonna go ahead and drop in that rough chopped chocolate and fold it in until everything is nice and incorporated and then we're ready to start the cookies. Now at this point I've had my oven preheated to 360 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just gonna scoop little two tablespoon balls of our cookie dough onto a parchment lined baking tray. Now the cookie dough is gonna be pretty loose, so don't be worried when you see it kind of like being a little bit loose. It shouldn't be runny, but it should be definitely way more loose than what you're used to. Also make sure they're spaced two inches apart and finish them with a little bit of flaky salt, optionally. I'm sorry that I always use this. I need to stop using this so often. And then you're just gonna bake these at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes or until the tops are shiny and they begin to crackle. Now let's get one more good look at these cookies, just just so that I can make sure that it sinks in for you. All right, guys, and that is it. I mean, you know, it's a pretty short video, very straightforward. This is like one of the easiest cookie recipes of all time. It's pretty hard to fuck up, but you know, people surprise me, so I don't, I'm just gonna put that disclaimer out there. But for the most part, it's almost foolproof. Each of these are like super chewy, super decadent and rich, fudgy on the inside, chewy on the outside. I mean, it is. I feel like this is one of those recipes that literally everybody loves, unless you're that type of, that one person, that one friend that you have that doesn't like chocolate. That one friend. How dare you. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Point is, if you like this video, give it a like, Subscribe and I will see you next week.